Here's everything you need to start producing your own music. If you're a singer, songwriter, or rapper, and you wanna start getting into producing your own music, but you don't know where to start, this is gonna be the video for you. We're gonna start with hardware, such as your computer and home recording setup. Then we're gonna go right into the software. This is gonna get you producing music fast, simply, and without spending too much money. Let's dive in. Microphone, this is gonna be the one I recommend. This is literally the exact same microphone I'm currently using. I did just buy myself an upgraded mic, but this is the one I've been using for literally 13 years to make my own music. And this is the one that I recommend to all my clients in my Rapid Fire Music Academy. It's super un you know, affordable, it's $94. It's a great mic, highly recommend it. The next thing is you do need to get an audio interface, of course. This isn't the best top of the line, but this is probably the one that you've seen. It's probably the one you already have. It's the Scarlett Focusrite. Now you can get this one where it has two inputs, right? Where you can see it has two. Mine actually only has one and it's actually a lot more affordable. So if you wanna go and just get one, that's all you need. And basically what you do with this is this is what you connect your microphone to, right? So you can connect your microphone to one of these little ports right here and then it basically turns your audio into ones and zeros. And it's, again, great audio interface. It's the one I've been using for a long time. Next, you are gonna need cables to actually connect the microphone to the audio interface. Um, it's called an XLR cable. I like to get them that are, you know, longer, but you know, mine itself is actually not that long, but you can get one that's about five feet, doesn't really matter. You definitely don't need to get 100 feet or 50 feet. You probably don't even need 10 feet. Five feet is just enough. Next thing, you need the uh, microphone stand, obviously, and it like literally doesn't fucking matter which microphone stand you use, just get one. I found this one, it doesn't matter, All right? Next, pop filter, you know what this is. This is the thing you put out right in front of the microphone, catches the S's and P's, 10 bucks, super cheap. Now, after that, this is the next thing. It's not like extremely critical, but I would personally very much recommend this. Um, it's called an isolation shield or isolation barrier, but essentially this is the thing that you put behind the microphone. It's fucking awesome. Like right this second, I'm not using one, but when I record vocals, like really record, I do use this and it's amazing. There's tons of different ones you can look for. I don't know if this is the exact one you should go with. Find one that works for you. Again, find, like just find one that works for you. Fair warning, when you do get one of these, like for me, I actually had to get another microphone stand to hold up the isolation barrier, completely worth it, makes the sound a lot better. Next, headphones. Um, headphones are a big deal, you do need to get great headphones. Me personally, I used to not like care that much about great headphones until one day my headphones broke, I sat on them and broke them, and then I was like, damn, I need new headphones. Went to Guitar Center, ended up buying these Audio-Technica ATH-M40X, huge difference maker you can hear like the amount of clarity that i hear in my mixes when i'm making beats it's when i'm recording it's so much better these are amazing um looks like i'm you can get them right now for 80 bucks which is kind of nice at the time of me filming the video but i spent 150 dollars on them totally worth it would totally spend the 150 again so that right there is going to be literally all of the hardware that you need all the hardware now the next thing you're gonna need is software. We're gonna run through this. Now, one thing you'll notice though is with the hardware, I didn't say you need a MIDI keyboard, you don't need speakers, you don't need a fancy mixing board. Everything I just shared with you is legitimately all of the hardware that you need to start producing music. And really it's just, that was just recording. So next, we're gonna go into the software. I'm gonna show you a couple of different DAWs, AKA Digital Audio Workstation. So, um, you don't need to get Logic. I just, this is the one that I personally use and you can get a 90 day free trial of it and then you can buy it. So if you need to know the minimum system requirements, you need at least uh, six gigabytes of available storage, and 72 gigabytes of storage space for full sound library. Okay, so if you're gonna go get that new computer, you're gonna be able to do it. Also, you wanna make sure that your Mac OS is updated um, to this. So make sure that you have the right system requirements. If you don't wanna get Logic, that's fine. You can get Ableton. Ableton's another great one and you can try it live, try live for free uh, for 30 days. So not as good uh, as the 90 day free trial of Logic, but still great. A lot of people use Ableton. It doesn't matter which one you use. If you have a PC, you cannot use Logic. You have to get something other than Logic. You'll need Ableton or FL Studio. 
um, see it'll let you do it for Windows. But if you have a Mac, you can use either one. I personally recommend Logic, but it doesn't matter. You can also get Pro Tools, Cubase, FL Studio, Reason, who the fuck cares? Cool, so there's your DAW. Next, for actually making instrumentals, there's only two tools that you're gonna need, Splice and Arcade. This is Splice. It's amazing. You can actually download amazing sounds right here from Splice. And I actually have another video of me breaking down the entire process of how to use Splice, like from start to finish. So if you want to click here in the, uh, the info card, you can go check that video out. But essentially, this is where you can start downloading loops, drums, and using them. So, you know, they have stuff for all different types of instrumentalists and beat makers, right? Next is Arcade by Output. Um, it looks like they're doing Try It Free as of the time of me filming this video. But um, $10 a month, it's kind of like Splice. And basically the way it works is you download it, you use it with your DAW, let's say you're using Logic, and um, you can start to basically alter the sounds that are in Arcade based on the key and BPM of the song. And you can also use Splice with Arcade where you can actually drag a Splice sample into Arcade and it can you can sample it up. If all of that sounds really fucking confusing, don't worry, I'm actually gonna make more training videos on this exact topic of how to create instrumentals without needing to know music theory, and we're gonna basically just use Splice and Arcade. But essentially, if you wanna get started, get started with Splice, get started with Arcade. All right, so we've got the recording set up, we know how to make instrumentals now with the uh, gear from Splice and Arcade. Now, what we're gonna do is we need to know how to mix. So with mixing, if you're just getting started mixing, I actually wouldn't recommend that you go buy any plugins yet. I would recommend just using stock plugins and um, where again, I'm gonna show you how to actually mix. This video you're watching right now is part one of a series I'm doing on how to fully produce your own music. So I'm gonna literally break down the whole process of how to do that, like how to mix, how to master, make your own instrumentals, everything. But if you wanna start getting great plugins and you wanna get like, kind of open the, if you, if you wanna just like open the Pandora's box, this is where you would start, in my opinion. Waves.com slash subscriptions. Go down, you can either get their plugins annually or monthly. I would go, I mean, I'm doing the monthly 25 a month, but uh, if you wanna go annual, it'll, pay, it'll bill you 250 bucks a year, or you save $50 a year. I'm doing monthly. So, all 230 plus Waves plugins. Waves is basically a company that makes amazing plugins. Um, you can buy each one of their plugins one off, but I was just like, no, I want all of them. I wanna be able to have access to everything. So I just pay monthly. You're gonna get high quality professional plugins. So this is for mixing. You can master with this as well. But if you want to get another plugin for mastering, which I would recommend you do, you go get Isotope Ozone 10. Now you'll notice the link is splice.com. What's super dope about Splice is they have rent to own plugins. So I'm literally getting this. I got Ozone 10 and I'm only paying 20 bucks a month. Again, very, very affordable. Now mastering is when you, so when you mix, you have your polished song with your vocals, your kick drum, your pianos, all your different tracks. You bring them all together. You make everything sound crispy. You make the, the mix sound very full. But when you're done mixing, generally speaking, your song's not gonna be super loud. Um, it's not gonna fill up your speakers. It's not gonna sound good off the iPhone, so you need to master your music as well. That's where I would recommend you go get Ozone 10, right? It's made by Isotope. They have other plugins that are fantastic as well, but this is the only one I have by them. This is where, essentially, you're gonna take your mix, you're gonna pop it into this plugin, and you're gonna use it. You can use it with your DAW. So you can basically pull up Logic or Ableton, pull up Isotope within that plugin and then master. So that's how you would get started with it. So that's literally all you need to get started with producing music. You don't need to get a MIDI keyboard. You don't need a fancy mixer. You don't even need speakers. You can literally get started producing music with just the tools that I showed you. Now, if you're watching this video and you're thinking to yourself, Lee, I really want to start producing my own music. I've been sifting through YouTube videos. Yes, Lee, I'm going to check out your videos as well. But at the end of the day, Lee, here's the deal. I want to start producing music and I don't want to have to rely on YouTube to learn because I want to just get the results fast. If that's the case, then click below and book a call with me. I actually run the Rapid Fire Music Academy where we guarantee results. I actually guarantee that you will fully produce your own music in 90 days. You get two things guaranteed at the end of 90 days. Number one, you'll have at least one song fully produced, written, recorded, mixed and mastered by you that you're excited to release. And number two, you're going to have all the skills you need to never have to look at YouTube videos, hire producers, buy beats, 
or rely on anybody else for the rest of your career. If both of those are not fulfilled in 90 days, I keep working with you for free until they are. So if that sounds interesting to you, click below, book a call with me, and I'd love to get you started. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.